Uh, we recognize that there are uh, going to be significant economic impacts for Canadians, for workers, for businesses. To this point, the reassurances have been public, but the details largely kept private. We're going to be uh, talking very soon about measures that Canada is going to put forward to support people on the economic side. It turns out very soon is Wednesday. Government sources say the Prime Minister will announce significant steps in Canada's response to COVID-19. It will include a boost to research funding to combat the virus and government's intention to waive the one-week waiting period for EI benefits for people who can't work because of the virus. Canadians, workers uh, who need to self-isolate to protect themselves and to protect their neighbours. And while the provinces run the hospitals, Ottawa has the money and the financial means to respond. So sources say Trudeau's announcement will outline ways to bolster health workers and provincial health systems. Whether it is uh, any anticipated shortages that they might have for equipment or personal protective gear or even in terms of human resources, uh, you know, additional supports that they might need in their hospitals or in their public health units, these are the kinds of conversations we're having. The Prime Minister will also give a detailed account of what has been done behind the scenes to slow the viral spread and limit the economic contagion. We're going to continue to act in ways uh, recommended by the top experts, by the top me medical professionals, coordinate with other uh, levels of government, coordinate with the international community, do everything we can to keep ensuring that Canadians are kept safe. Trudeau's announcement will deal with the immediate pressures caused by COVID-19. There will be additional measures in the upcoming budget and more after that once the full impact of the coronavirus is known. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.